with your girl Lache Vibes coming in to you with another product review. Thumbs up the video if you're enjoying the products review on my channel. I'm going to be reviewing Honey's Handmade. It's from the Melva's Kitchen Collection. The collection is dedicated to her late mother. It had a sale. I actually purchased these items. I have three. I purchased three at the time. I got another styler, which is their Twisting Pomade. Um, but in this video, I'll just be reviewing the two. I have the Sweet Potato Low Poo Co-Wash Cleansing Butter. And I also will be reviewing the Honey's Handmade uh, from the Melba's Kitchen Collection, the Blackberry Double Hair Custard. Purchased these, I, I purchased three items in April. They were all $7, and I remember the email reading something about that these were the limited edition, so I'm not sure if these are something that are going to be offered. I know there's a Melba's Kitchen number two. I did do a prior review on Honey's Handmade. I will leave the link below to that video below in the description box if you would like to check that video out. I'm so excited to try when I seen the co-wash. I love a good co-wash and I really like it because I guess I can be lazy when it comes to you know doing my hair having to use a shampoo and a separate conditioner. I'm just going to read to you what a co-wash means for those who are not familiar or run across the channel. Placing your shampoo with just one product that can stimulate do the job of a shampoo, which is to cleanse the hair and that of a conditioner, which is to keep hair extra nourished and moisturized. And I was so excited to try this because this is actually a low poo co-wash. And I'm just going to read to you what low poo means. For those who don't know, low poo is a technique that uses shampoo without aggressive sulfates insoluble silicones and petroleum derivatives to wash hair in order to do so if it's necessary to substitute any shampoo that contains aggressive substitute because they remove the natural protein of the hair. So that's what low poo mean. So I have the sweet potato low poo and it says wet hair thoroughly apply low poo cleansing butter to section hair and scalp using circular massage motions. I didn't section my hair, but I did apply a generous amount of the product. And look how thick that is. It is so thick for um, a cleanser. So it was really different, but I really enjoyed it. And it smells really good. It really made me want to rush Thanksgiving because it smells just like, it smells like sweet potato. It really put me in the mind of some fresh sweet potato pies coming out of my mom's oven. Use the generous amount of this. As you can see, it's extremely thick. It's thick like cream thick. Look how thick that is. So I use a generous amount of this all through the hair. I wash the hair twice with this. And like I mentioned before, I love co-washes because sometimes just, you know, I guess mentally to have to use a shampoo and then following up with a conditioner makes it seem like there's two process steps versus just using the one and, you know, washing the hair as because it compensates as a shampoo and also a conditioner. And then what I did is I I have several leave-ins, but I wasn't sure about my favorite. This is like one of my staple products. I always talk about it. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I speak highly of the Design Essential Almond and Avocado. It's a mousse. It's a curl enhancing mousse. So this was really good to use if you're just not certain about which leave-in to do with it or you're not sure which leave-in you would like to do with This is a great alternative for leave-in. So I use a generous amount of this and then I applied the blackberry double hair custard Now with this when I open it and these were packaged so nice both packaging were completely sealed I don't see an expiration date um, on them. It does say that these are limited edition products like I mentioned Okay, let's see what this smells like It smells like some form of berry Puts me in a mind of like a like a cherry pie or some type of pie, Thanksgiving pie. It smells good though. But this was so watery, I was kind of concerned. I was like, I didn't know what my hair was going to turn out like. Check out how watery this is. And I mean, it is like so thin. It's really, really thin. I'm just going to show you what the actual texture looks like. Look at that. It's so thin. It's like water thin. Let me look at the ingredients because it really feels like the water is fresh. Yep, that, that's the first thing. It says distilled H2O, shea, capuchua, horsetail, honey, coconut, and beeswax. Yeah, this is super thin. It was a, It's a super thin moisturizer. It says apply to wet or damp hair. If desired, you may use on a wash and go. Other ways to use are by styling damp hair 
then applying custard and allowed to set overnight for optimum definition. Well, what I did is as the hair was damp, you know, of course I did the co-wash, I did my Design Essential uh, curling mousse, and then I applied this, and then I rod set the hair, and these are the results. I'm really surprised. I mean, it's very beautiful. It's uh, really, really soft. It's very, very hydrated. I use my rod sets. And I, I like the results. I was really shocked. I was extremely surprised because I didn't know what the results were going to turn out. But I love it. it. It has a lot of definition. It's really, really soft. There is a light hold to the hair. But I like it overall. And again, I'm not sure. When I tell you this will help enhance any hairstyle or if you have, um, you know, you don't have a favorite leave-in and you want something that's going to help to spruce up any hairstyle, definitely give this a try. But overall, I do. I mean, I don't regret trying the products. Would I purchase them again? Probably the co-wash, only because sometimes when I just don't feel like doing the extra step of grabbing the shampoo, I would probably do the co-wash. Um, but glad I got to give them a try. And before I conclude the video, I want to make sure you guys know that I do have a Parshmark. Link will be listed below. I will begin to post hair care products for purchase, but right now you can check out the my Poshmark closet where I have posted some clothing along with some shoes items, so please be sure to check that out. As always, if you've uh, tried any of these products or any of the products for, from the Melba's Kitchen collection, please be sure to leave your comments below and let me know how they worked out for you. How did you, did you love the co-wash? I heard the co-wash is extremely, extremely popular. I really enjoyed the co-wash. But overall, love the results. Let me know how they worked out for you. Did you use them? I do also have the twisting pomade, so that will be a part two at some point. So make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video.